Hey friends, I have put together a 30 minute hit fit yoga series for you. This is high intensity interval training yoga. The beauty of this is you can modify. You can take out all the hops or jumps and you can also eliminate any weights or props. Enjoy. Hey friends, I am bringing you a hit fit yoga practice, high, inter high intensity interval training yoga. So be mindful, just like any yoga practice, listen to your body, honor your body, modify, and if something doesn't feel good, don't do it. I'm hoping to take you to your edge though, so take it to your edge, but if you feel pain, please back out. Meet me at the top of your mat. Um, we are going to use some props today. Props are always optional. I have a Pilates ball. I have three pound weights and then I have a weighted, a two pound weighted ball. One thing to keep in mind here, optional props, but if you want props, they're all from Amazon. So let's begin our practice top of our mat. Inhale, reverse one, then open your chest, your heart, breathe in what you need today. Believe that you can do this, and then exhale, swan dive to earth. Shifting the hips back, really deep bend in the knees, allow the belly to rest on the thighs. Shake your head yes, and shake your head no. Inhale, reverse swan dive, open the chest, the heart, breathe in what you need. And then exhale, swan dive to earth, shift those hips back, deep bend in the knees, shake the head yes, and shake the head no. Reverse swan dive, sealing the palms at the top. Ground through your feet, stretch over to the right, creating space and length with the side body. And then take that stretch over to the left. Releasing the clasp at the top, allow the right hand to fall to the right. Gaze to the left hand, up to the sky, and then hinge over to the right. Inhale, both arms to sky for mountain. Exhale, drop that left hand, gaze to the sky, hinge over to the left. Inhale, arms to sky. Exhale, gentle back bend. Gaze to the sky. Inhale, back to mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Hands through heart center. Fingertips to shins, half lift. Exhale, fold. Seal your hands on the earth. Step backward and plank. Maybe your knees are high. Maybe your knees are low. Listen to your body. Notice your plank. Shoulders are stacked over wrist. Heels are stacked over toes. I'm drawing hip bone to hip bone. Navel to spine, and then I guess shift forward and back. So shoulders slightly over wrists, then press my heels back. Shoulders slightly over wrists, and then press your heels back. We've got four. Use your belly, use your quads. Three, two, and one. Hips up, down, dog. Pedal it out when you get there. Ears are between biceps. Draw your shoulder blades down your back. Broaden through your collarbone. And then melt your heels towards the earth, hips to the sky. Really deep bend in your right knee, melt that left heel towards the earth. Feel a stretch from the calf to the hamstring and to the glute. Take that to the other side. Really deep bend in that left knee. Keep pressing your hips to the sky, shoulder blades down the back. And then bring the left heel to meet the right. Breathe forward, we're in plank. We're going to lower and hover and chaturanga. Again, maybe knees high, knees low, your practice. Hug those elbows in, hover and chaturanga. And then use your breath, use your belly, full plank. Hips up, down, dog. Breathe forward to plank. Hover and chaturanga. Use your breath, use your belly, full plank. Hips up, down, dog. Breathe right leg to sky. Lift your heels, squeeze your glute for four, three, two, one. Float that foot through. Inhale, sweep the arms upward and crescent lunge. Take a breath. Exhale, hinge forward. Frame out that foot. Right leg comes to sky. Three-legged dog. We're going to flow that. Three-legged dog to crescent lunge. Keep moving with your breath. Three-legged dog to crescent lunge. One more time. Move with your breath. Three-legged dog to crescent lunge. Pausing in our crescent lunge, tuck the tail, lower the knee for four, rise, three, rise, two, and one. Now we take flight to warrior three, warrior three, tiny little squat. We're going to bend that right knee, squat four, three, two, 
One, lift that heel, squeeze that glute. Four, three, two, one hamstring, curl heel to glute. Four, three, two, one. Bring your hands out in front. Now draw your knees to tap. Hug the elbows in and then take up space. Three more just like that. Three, two, and one. Step back, crescent lunge. We're going to do that again. Here we go. Drop the knee, tuck the tail. Four, rise. Three, breathe. Two, last one. Take flight, tiny squats for four, three, two, one. Lift that back leg, squeeze that glute. Four, three, two, one. Heel to glute, hamstring curl. Four, three, two, one. Reach your arms out, tap the knees. Four, hug the elbows in. Three, two, and one. Step back, crescent lunge. One more set. Here we go. Tuck the tail, drop the knee. Four, rise. Three, breathe. Two, and one. Take flight. Tiny squats for four, three, two, one. Lift that back leg, squeeze that glute. Four, three, two, one. Heel to glute, hamstring curl. Four, Three, two, one. Reach those arms out. Tap those knees. Hug those elbows in. Four, three, two, and one. Press and lunge. Take a breath. Exhale. Hinge forward. Frame out that foot. Right leg comes back to meet left. Paddle it out. We're in down dog. Down dog. Adhokta Shavasana. Coming back to our center. Paddle it out. Stretch out that right glute. And then melt both heels towards the earth. Breathe, left leg to side. Float that foot through. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Crescent lunge, take a breath. Exhale, hinge forward, frame out that foot. Left leg to side. Keep moving, keep breathing. Crescent lunge, three-legged dog. Crescent lunge, three-legged dog. We're all going to need a crescent lunge. Here we go. Set that foundation. Now drop that knee. Four, rise. Three, rise. Two, and one. Take flight. Tiny squats. Four, three, two, one. Lift that back leg. Squeeze that glute. Four, three. Two, one, heel to glute, hamstring curl. Four, three, two, one, reach those arms up, tap those knees, hug those elbows in. Four, three, oh, two, and one, step back, creating balance. Drop that knee, tuck that tail. Four, three, two, and one, take flight, tiny squats. Four, Three, two, one. Lift that heel, squeeze that glute. Four, three, two, one. Heel to glute, hamstring curl. Four, three, two, one. Reach those arms out, tap those knees, hug those elbows in. Four, three, two, one. Step back, crescent lunge. We're at the top. One more step. We've got this. Drop that knee for four. Rise. Three. Breathe, two, and one, take flight, tiny squats for four, three, two, one, lift that heel, squeeze that glute, four, three, two, one, hamstring curl, heel the glute, four, three, two, one, reach your arms up, tap the knees, hug the elbows in, four, reach, three, reach, two, reach, last one, Crescent lunge, take a breath. Exhale, hinge forward, frame out that foot. Left leg comes back to meet the right. You are in down dog, pedal it out. Stretch out that left glute. Coming back to our center. Two big cleansing breaths here. And then melt those heels towards the earth, breathe forward plank. Lower down. Forearm plank. So I like to create a fist with my right hand and then tuck my left hand over it. We're going to shift forward, chin over fist, and forehead over fist. 
Roll through those toes. Draw navel to spine, hip bone to hip bone. Keep lifting out of your forearms. So don't sink into the earth. Lift away from the earth. For four, three, two, and one. Pause. Now tap right knee, left knee, right knee, left knee. Smile, it helps, I promise. Now pick up the pace to a jog. Jog it up. Now run that forearm plank. Run it out. You've got it. You've done really hard things. Let's go. For four, three, two, and hold. Now walk it up. Full plank. Hips up, down dog. Look at the space between your hands. Hop or walk your feet to meet your hands. Uttanasana, forward fold. Let's shake that head, yes. And shake the head, no. Inhale, reverse swan bike. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Let's roll the shoulder blades up and down your back, and then let's go ahead and right reach for our weights. So if you don't have weights, it's all good, or maybe grab some canned goods. So feet are shoulder width apart, maybe even a little bit wider, depending on stability for you. Now we begin by just bringing the arms up to a V. We pause, take it down. Pause, take it down. So try not to bring your weights any higher than your shoulders. So slow it down. The slower you go, the more challenging it's gonna be. Now notice what your core is doing. Draw the navel to the spine. Here's four, three, two, and one. Now we bring the weights together. We're gonna pull with the right. So the elbow stays in line. Pull, pull. If the weights are too much, always lose them. I'd rather keep, you, keep the integrity and form of the posture or workout than the weights. Here we go, four, three, two, and one, pull left, elbow comes back. Keep the arm in line, you've got it, pull, pull. For four, three, two, and one. Now both arms come back, we go right into shoulder presses, draw it up, feel goal it out. Bring it up, feel goal. You've got it. shoulder presses. Here's four. We're gonna pulse it in three, two, last one. Now feel and pull that arm, those arms in tiny little pulses here. It's a small little micro movement. Also notice what your legs are doing. We don't want our joints locked out. So have that soft bend in the knees, just a little micro bend. For four, three, two. And one, now close and open, close and open. Draw those shoulders together. Draw those elbows together. You got it for four. Breathe, three, breathe, two. Last one, bring those elbows together as close as you can. Now up an inch, down an inch. This is a small little micro movement. Tiny little lift for four, three, Two, and pause, now punch right and left, right and left, see, right and left, you've got it. Small movement for four, three, two, one. We take it right back to chair. So we're getting into the triceps. So full extension, put the weight in your heels, lift your toes, shift your hips back, maybe tuck the tail. Full extension here. So be mindful what you're working. You're squeezing the triceps on the way up. So squeeze, you got it. Squeeze, you've got four, then you're gonna pulse. Three, breathe, two, and pulse. Tiny lifts, lift, lift, lift. You got it, four, three, two, and pause. Now squeeze the weights together for four, three, two, one. Lift, four, three, two, one. Squeeze, four, three, two, one. One, lift, four, three, two, one, squeeze, four, three, two, one, take it up. Woo! Now we're gonna move into biceps. So again, 
Feet shoulder width apart or a little wider. Hug those elbows right into your rib cage. If you have bigger weights, you're welcome to double up weights or change weights. Bring it up, pause at 90 degrees. Take it up and pause. You got it. Slow it down. Allow the muscles to work for you. You got it. Hug those elbows in. We're gonna pulse it in four and three and two. Here we go, tiny pulses. Small little pulses for four, three, two, and one. Rotate those weights so the weight comes up towards the shoulder. Pause at 90 degrees. Take it up and pause. Take it up, pause. Check in with your core. Draw that navel towards the spine. We've got four, three, two, and then one. Tiny little pulses here. Small little movement for four, three, two, and pause. Now draw all those elbows right behind the rib cage. So it's a little bitty squeeze here. Squeeze. Here you go. You can see. Squeeze. Squeeze. Tiny movement. Squeeze for four, three, two, and one. Now rotate those weights. We're going to cross and then open, changing which weight comes on top each time. Cross. Open. Keep those elbows tied into the rib cage. You've got it. Four more. And three. And two. Last one. And one. Now we're going to go right into butt kicks. You are welcome to lose your weights or eliminate hops. Maybe you're here today. Maybe you want to cross. Honor your body. What feels good to you today? This is your practice. You are creating energy. And energy is going to give you motivation, sister. Motivation, motivation to be the best version of you today. Yes, here we go. Take it up. Keep breathing. Keep moving. We've got to get our heart rate up. The heart is the most important muscle in your body, friends. If it's not beating, you're not living. Let's go. Take it up. You can do this. We've got four, three, two, and one. Walk it out. Grab a sip of water and then also sit your weights down. All right, let's come to the top of our mats. We're going to start traveling down. Take a deep breath. And then exhale it out as we let that heart rate slow down. Sip in that breath and then let it go. A nice cleansing breath as we begin in mountain. Nice breath in, filling up, and then slow breath out. Inhaling, sweeping arms to the sky. Maybe a gentle back bend at the top. And then exhale, swan dive to earth. Fingertips to shins, half lift. Exhale, fold. So your hands on the earth, step back to your plank. Knees high, knees low, listen to your body. Four chaturanga presses, so elbows come back towards the body for four. Breathe, three, breathe, two, last one. Now lower the knees down. So let's reach for our weighted ball here. We're going to go for a side series. Again, if you do not have a weighted ball, it is okay. So let's come to our right side. You can have your arms two different ways. Some people like to be all the way down or supported here. We're going to bring our weighted ball behind our left knee. If you have a weight, you could also use a weight. Glue those heels together. We're going to start with clamshells. So we close and open. Close and open. I want you to be squeezing this left glute on the way up. So open and close. You got it. Open and close. Keep those heels glued together. Squeeze that glute on the way up for four, three, two, and one. Let's lower that bottom leg. Legs are now parallel. We're going to tap that top knee out and then realign. Tap 
it out as far as you can. And then realign. Tap. Realign. You got it. Tap. Realign. We've got four more. Here's four. Breathe. Three. Two. Last one. Now we're going to open and close. So open and close. Open and close. You're feeling the love, right? Here we go. Four. Three. Two. We're going to pulse it at the top. Lift. You got it for four. Three. Two. And hold. Now big circles with that leg. Big giant circles. And then change direction. Four big circles. Four. Three. Two. And one. Set that weighted ball off to the side. Lengthen those legs long. We're going to lift that top leg. And then we're going to bring the bottom leg up to tap it. So tap. 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 You got it. Here we go. Four. Three. Two. And hold them together, get really, really strong, and then lift both legs. You can even feel the obliques working for you if you place your hand on your baseline. So lift, 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 lift. Now lower down, let's stamp that left foot on the inner thigh, and then we're going to lift and lower both legs. Lift, lift. Take it up as high as you can. Come on. You're going to feel this warm up. Then we're going to pulse it in four, three, two, and hold it at the top. Tiny little pulses up for four, three, two, and one. Take it down. Let's go to the other side. Bring your weighted ball with you. Or maybe you have a can good. Or maybe you have nothing. It's all good. If you're using a weighted ball or a weight, behind the top knee. Glue those heels together and open and close. Be mindful that you're squeezing this right glute. So we open and close. Squeeze the glute on the way up. Squeeze. You got it. Stay with me. We've got four, three, two, and one. Now we stack those knees. We're going to walk this top leg out, tap it to the earth, and then realign. Walk it out. Realign. You got to keep going. Realign. Four more. Here's four. Three. Two. And one. Now we're opening and closing. Open and close. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. For four. Three. Two. Now meet me at the top. Tiny pulses, tiny lifts for four, three, two, and hold. Big giant circles for four, three, two, and one. Change direction. Big circle with that hip flexor. Four, three, two, and one. Lose your ball. Extend your legs long. Legs are stacked. Maybe bring the fingertips to the front for stability and then lower and lift that bottom leg. Tap it up. You've got it. Four, three, two, and glue those legs together. Maybe you want to place your hand on your waist to feel the obliques as you lift. Lift. For four, three, two, and one. Lower that bottom leg. Stack the sole of the right foot in the inner thigh. Now lift and lower that bottom leg. So notice my foot is active. Flexed or pointed, it doesn't matter. But the leg is strong. We're going to lift for four, three, two, and hold it at the top. Tiny pulses for four, three, two, and just hold, hold, hold. Can you lift it up a little higher? Yes, you can. And then take it down. Nice. Now go ahead if you have a a Pilates ball. Go ahead and reach for your Pilates ball. And we're going to place it between our thighs. We're going to place our hands or our feet on the earth and roll back one vertebrae at a time. And then walk those heels towards your glutes. And see maybe if you can even 
can brush your heels with your fingertips as you begin to tilt the pelvis and lift the hips, the glutes, all the way to the top, squeezing the glutes and the hips, and then lowering down one vertebrae at a time. Tuck the pelvis, lift, lift, lift. See if you can get all the way to the thoracic spine, which is where your bra strap is, and then squeeze and then lower down. Lift, 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 now pause here. Now I want you to imagine you have headlights on your hip bones. I want you to pulse those headlights towards the sky. Squeezing the glutes each time. Pulse for four, three, two, and hold. Now take it up an inch higher, tuck the chin slightly towards the chest. Then I want you to pulse the ball like you're trying to pop it. Pulse it for four, three, two, and one. Lower down one vertebrae at a time. Let's bring that ball between our feet. Stamp your feet on the sky, going right into a reverse crunch. You can bring your head, neck, and shoulders off the earth, or they can be grounded. You're lifting the hips, pressing the feet on the sky, and we're trying not to swing, we're trying to lift. So if your hands are behind your head, then we lift everything up. So crunch, crunch. So imagine you're trying to raise the roof with your feet. Lift, firing up that transverse abdominis, that bottom part of your core. Lift, lift, you've got four, three, two, and one. Lower the head, neck, and shoulders. Arms can be out to a T or out to the side. Tiny pulses with your feet. Small little movement. And then we're gonna begin drawing, moving this ball from side to side, through the feet. Move the ball, rotate it, and then tiny pulses back to center. Tiny pulses. Now rotate that ball, move it through your feet. Keep pressing your back on the mat. Now tiny pulses. Now we're gonna move the ball to the right, center, left, center, right, Center, make sure you're actively squeezing that ball. We're not passive, we're active. And then we're gonna draw circles with the legs. Small little circles. And then change direction of your circle. Small little circle. For four, three, two, and one. Now taking the ball, both the weighted ball and your Pilates ball, Weighted ball is going to be in your hands. Pilates ball is going to be behind the small of your back here. If you don't have either, you can still do this. Now coming to boat, we're going to lift our chest and heart. Feet can be grounded or you can bring them up. It's completely your choice. We're going to tap, tap. So squeeze those thighs together. Tap, tap. Maybe you lift the feet a little higher. Keep breathing. We've got four, breathe, three, breathe, two, and one. Inhale, arms to sky, tricep dips. Hug those elbows right next to your head, and then drop the weighted ball behind. Keep breathing. You've got four, three, two, and one. Bring the weight to heart center. Now we're gonna row our boat, row. Keep squeezing those knees together. Lower your feet at any time. You've got four. Breathe, three, two, and one. Inhale, arms to sky. Now tiny pulses in with the knees. Draw those knees towards your chest. Shoulder blades down your back. Maybe you can lift the shins a little higher for four, three, two, and smile. And one, take it down. Set the weighted ball and your Pilates ball off to the side. Bring, your, um, bring yourself to an easy seated, sitting tall and confident, hands to the knees. Inhale across your lap, exhale, get wrapped. Move through energy circles. Notice how you feel at the end of a practice. This is your why. This is your why for moving your body because no one ever regrets a good workout. 
and then change direction of your energy circle. Move with breath. Returning back to the center, left hand to the right knee, right hand behind the head. Bring the right elbow to the sky, maybe extend it. Keep rotating through the torso, gaze to the sky, then take it back. Right hand, left knee, left hand behind the head, rotating through the torso, left elbow to the sky, and then maybe extend it. And then bringing it back up, opening the arms to a T, inhale, Open the chest, the heart, breathe in what you need. And then exhale, tuck the chin round through the back and the shoulders. Draw the palms towards one another. Inhale, spread your wings. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, sweep your arms to the sky. Drop the jaw, sigh it out. Guide your hands to heart center. Press your thumbs into your chest. Bow your head, soften your eyes. Thank you so much for honoring your body, your mind, nourishing your soul, and sharing this practice with me. For loving yourself first, so that you can love others well. May the light within me shine brightly within each one of you. Much love and gratitude. Namaste.